I dated a little bit. I was mostly in my room being a scientist. But a few times that I did date, I would date women whose mother or brother had records in the house. If I met a female, let's just say somewhere in the club or whatever, or wherever in the street, and I went to go meet up, you know, go to a house and meet up people, I'd look around. Well, I would inquire, excuse me, you have any records and anything? They'd say, oh, these old records, I'm trying to, I've been trying to get rid of them for years. And I'd go look and I'd be like, you know, they'd open the closet and be a gold mine in there. I'd be like, I have to kind of work on it. Okay, this person has to be my girlfriend for a minute. Either I was going to be a break dancer, right? Or I was going to be a DJ. I tried to break dance the thing, I was kind of whack at that. But when I seen Mr. Clyde Campbell, cool Herc, sitting up on his podium, on his table, heavily guarded, and all these people around, enjoying themselves. I mean, from age five years old to 50 in one park for a certain amount of hours, it was really a cool thing. They said, I want to do that. I want to be that. I want to do that. What intrigued me with Herc was he was playing the music that I loved, but I noticed the crowd. I could see the audience like, in unison, then in disarray. Then in unison, then in disarray. I said, I like what he's playing, but he's not playing it right.